Morning, Sion community. This is Pastor Andy coming to you live from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church, located in Lancaster, Minnesota. And this morning, I'm working on pondering Thanksgiving. Uh, tomorrow evening, we have our community Thanksgiving Eve service um, over at the Lancaster Covenant Church at 7 o'clock. So if you're interested in stopping by, that'd be great to see you. Um, but with that, I thinking about Thanksgiving and the holidays and all the, the ways that we are told that Thanksgiving looks like. And I'm not talking the festivities, the food and the, and the, you know, the family gatherings and all that, but like the, the acts of being thankful. And so often I hear it as if, as the only way to give thanks is to be happy, is for good occasions, for, you know, those joyous moments that somebody did something for you, you got a gift, you, you know, you got a promotion, you, you know, won the lottery and gave it, you know, most of it to your church. And, you know, like all those happy times, those happy moments, those good things are full of thanks. And I agree that those are the times where we are thankful, that we, we are joyous in the act of giving thanks. But... I think where we sell ourselves short is that there is there are times where it's not a joyous act to be thankful. It's not easy to be thankful. In in those dark times, in you know, your down and out moments, your valley of the shadow of death moments, your mountain crevice, you're trapped, you're longing for an escape. All of those things too, there's a reminder in there to be thankful as well. And I know that's gonna sound crazy um, given our social constructs that I've just explored with you a little bit, but the fact is God is still with you, that God never leaves nor forsakes you and that is a reason to be thankful as well. Um, even when it's hard, even when it doesn't seem like the right time, when you're in the midst of a crisis. But in our communion liturgy, um, it says it is our right and duty at all times and in all places to give thanks and glory to God. And why is that? Because God is always with us. We are never alone in those dark times. God is sitting with us in the depths of whatever it is we're going through. And I think with the holistic view of thanksgiving, that we should at all times and all places give thanks and glory to God, makes me feel a little bit better. That it's a good reminder that it it's not just happy times. It's not just those feel good moments that we have a reason to be thankful. We always have a reason to thank. We always have God with us, um, which is the promise that is made to us in the gospels. Um, so yeah, like let's ponder that as we enter into these Americanized holiday season of Thanksgiving and, you know, Advent is coming up, Christmas is coming up, all the other world religions have their holidays around this time as well. There's Ramadan, I think, maybe not, I don't know, don't quote me, Hanukkah, um, you know, it's a holiday season because a lot of the world religions have holidays this time of year and we're all going through things. Um, you know, it's not always easy being green, as Kermit the Frog said. So let's ponder that. My So my encouragement to you this this day and the days that come is just to be thankful in every moment and and just really think about it. Why are we thankful? What, what are we thankful for? And to whom is our thanks 
directed. It's a lot of who's and whom's and whatnots, but it's important to remember that God is always with us. So that being said, let us let us pray. Dear God, thank you. And there we go. Opening our prayers with thanksgiving and joy in our hearts, even when it's hard. Thank you for the reminder that you are always with us, no matter what we're going through. You feel the pain, the suffering, the joy, and delight, just like we do, if not more. Be with us as we walk through this holiday season. Be with our neighbors and those who don't find joy in this time of year, but may they find a reason to be thankful be it their neighbors, be it your presence, be it some miracle of social justice. Be with us as we walk through this day and the days that come. Strengthen us and encourage us to step out of our comfort zones and be just a bit more bolder in our proclamation of your promises for the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing, and that blessing is best served in your neighbor, to your neighbor, for your neighbor, with your neighbor. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.